Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another episode of Season 3 of the Rule 34 Podcast. I'm Jack, joined by... Dominic Steve. And Giovanni. Alright, so we are back here today. Um, how have the two of you been? Um, I have been okay so far. Uh, school's getting a little bit tougher now since uh, we're pretty much just near up on, on the, the finals, and, you know, any final assignments, all that stuff. Uh, I'm already looking into dorming to, you know, move over uh, by Berkeley and or Oakland. Uh, so I'm, I'm currently looking at prices and, and you know, um, you know, pricing for students and, you know, maybe this might be student discounts. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be living on campus because I just think that's just a way more expensive option as compared to like uh, student run uh, homes and or like very cheap apartments that they're just, you know, more farther from uh, Berkeley itself. So I'm, I'm looking upon that. Uh, aside from that, uh, yeah, I mean, w- I mean, work at the moment is very, very just scarce. And, you know, uh, I think we're, we're not going to be working until next week, I think, depending on the oh, performance. Saturday. Of- Saturday, yeah. I hope we don't work Saturday regardless. But anyways, yeah. Um, we are working Saturday. Oh, okay. Um, thank you for the input, uh, Gio. Um, uh, yeah, okay, yeah. Yeah, it sucks because we're still, we're still not working for like a, good, like a good amount of days. And, you know, it's a huge cut from our paychecks. Uh, but you know it is what it is. That's 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 the job, lead job. Uh, but yeah, yeah. Aside from that, everything else seems pretty uh, punctual. All right. What about you, Gio? Um, I had a very awful night um, last night. Well, yesterday morning I woke up kind of ill. I was like, oh, my throat feels a little bit funny, but. Besides that, it was just it was just my throat that was the issue, and then I don't know what happened. I got on my PC for a little bit, and then I got up. But I, as I got up, I just felt like my body just lose all of its strength, and I was like, "Oh no, this is not good." So then I, I got my Harry Potter book. I'm currently on uh, the Prisoner of Azkaban. And I was like, you know what, I'm going to go to my bed, I'm going to take some medicine, read for a little bit. Hopefully I get a little drowsy and then knock out for a little bit, which I did. I woke up sweaty, and but feeling better overall. So I was like, oh, that kind of worried. And then for the rest of the day, I just felt awful. I was like, eh, it's fine, whatever, I'll have some, some Tera flu, you know, the medicinal tea. And I was just knocked out at night. But for some reason, I just couldn't fall asleep Yesterday, I stayed up to like 4.30, just on my phone, watching like the YouTube shorts and stuff. And then my brother woke up at that time, too. He's like, oh, you're awake? I was like, yeah, I couldn't fall asleep. He's like, how long have you been awake? I was like, I haven't slept at all. And I was like, oh. He's like, oh, oh do you need anything? I was like, no, I'm just going to chill for a little bit more. And then, I don't know what happened, I just, like, I closed my eyes for a little bit, and I, next thing I know, it's like, I wake up, and it's like 7.30, I was like, oh, I got like, what, three hours of sleep? And I felt bad, and today's my dad's birthday, so I want to go play the, you know, the mañanitas to him, where they gave up his present. I had another medicinal tea, the Terra flu, and that thing got me really drowsy, and I just knocked out again, and I woke up like at 9 or 10. And I just stayed in bed until we had to do a podcast. But honestly, that's one of the worst experiences I've had in recent history, um, you know, involving illness. I, I was really contemplating a lot of stuff. Like, I was really, I don't, I don't know, I was like, oh, what if I shower? What if I go take, like, five Tylenols and hopefully I overdose <laughs> if they take it to the hospital? I was like, I was going through it, bro. I couldn't do it. But... Um, I did something that I haven't done in a long time. I actually prayed to God. I was like, yo, God, you know, we, we don't have the best of relationship, but I can really use your help right now. And I put a little faith in him, and then you know, I was able to pull through it. And then I slept for a little bit. I'm still tired as hell. Uh, kind of should have said how. You know, 
I was so tired, but I don't know. It's, hopefully I get better because I hate being sick. And on my week off, it's I hate it even more. Man, how about you, rough. Jack? How you been? Sounds rough. Uh, as far as me, uh, I've been doing pretty good. On Saturday, we took my mom out for Mother's Day because, you know, my family sort of has, like, the mindset of, uh, you know, go out the day before because the day of it's actually going to be very busy, you know, like everyone's going to be trying to take their mom out on the actual mother's day. So take them out the day before. And so that's what we did. Um, was pretty fun. Um, other than that, since the last time we recorded, can't think of much of what I've been doing. Uh, I mean, I've been trying to write, but I'm in sort of a slump where it's like I have these ideas, but when I actually, like, try to write, it's like nothing comes to mind in the sense of, like, how, how like, basically, like, the words can't come to mind. Like, I know what I want to write about, but, like, because I'm very, like, specific in the way I write and, like, you know, I break things down really, like, with the way I start off, you know, how I transition from each sort of a uh, section it's like I've been struggling a lot, so much so that uh, after this, like after we record, I'm probably going to go for my walk. I already know what album I'm going to walk to. I'm going to come back, eat something, shower, and probably spend the rest of the day writing just because, like, I need to come up with something because I don't have, like, I don't have any finished writing pieces. So I need to finish some of them. I already know. I know I have. I need to finish one of them by next week because it's a very special one. But uh, other than that, can't say I've been. Oh, sorry, can't say I've been doing a whole lot. I'm just trying to. I don't know. I feel like I'm sort of a. Uh, I don't know what the word for it is. Like, I'm just going with the flow right now, I guess you could say. Like, I haven't been doing much. I'm just, I'm sort of just waiting for, like, uh, the big sort of, like, events to come in the sense of, like, I'm waiting for the Twice concert. Uh, I'm waiting for AEW's next pay-per-view. Uh, there's the Paramore concert in, like, July. There's the NF concert in, like, September, I think it is. Um, and who knows? Oh, I'm also going to, like, a wrestling show with Mr. Solis. I think it's next week. So I'm waiting for that. And, uh, yeah, other than that, pretty, pretty good so far, you know? Uh, there's obviously other stuff to explain, such as what I just uh, mentioned, but we'll get into that later. But, uh, yeah. I've been doing pretty good with life. Um, I'm really looking forward to that Twice concert. It's been a cool minute since I did anything fun. And I'm, I'm not like in a depressing way, but, you know? It's kind of like there's levels to it, and like going to a concert is like, on, on like the next level kind of fun. Yeah. So yeah I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, I am counting down the days, essentially. Because I already know, like, it's going to be one of the most unique concerts I've ever been to. I know that for sure. Mm -hmm. I saw that they have a wheel for like that they spin for like uh, what song to play. And uh, I can already tell you I'm going to get very annoyed because they have that wheel, but they don't stay true to their word. I've seen so many clips where like they spin the wheel and then freaking it lands on one song and then they switch it to another song that they want to actually play. And I'm just like. What's the point of the wheel then? Mm. They did that last concert too, but they, they just ended up playing all of the songs. It was like I think that's like the encore bit of the concert. I don't know. If if it lands on a song I like and they change it, uh, best believe I'm throwing hands with someone at the concert. Mm. Oh man! But uh, moving on from. All of that, I guess. We can transition into our sort of main topic, unless there's anything the two of you want to bring up or talk about. 
no, I think we're good. All right, so we'll move on to the main topic, which is sort of a little, like, checkpoint in a sense. Though we always, you know, give little updates, like, in the very beginning, this is sort of like a, a checkpoint for us to check in on because uh, a lot's been happening with uh, the three of us and even broader uh, our group of friends. So, uh, you know, it's not abnormal for, like, us to, you know, just hop in a Discord voice chat and, like, talk with one another. But one day it was, like, I don't know, what would you say, Gio? It was, like, 10, 11 at night? Yeah. Mm. It was after a quick Overwatch session that we just decided to talk about life, you know, mm. from our perspective. Yeah, we, we started to talk, and... Like, uh, soon out, well, it started off with just, uh, Gio, our friend, Willie, and I. And then soon after, we were joined by our friend Diego, our friend Jose. Dominic eventually joined. And it just turned into all of us talking about, like, a variety of different things. But the sort of, like, main topic at hand that, like, started this whole discussion that lasted for hours was essentially asking ourselves or like talking about the fact that like you know we can sit here and talk to one another and talk about you know changing our lives you know kind of like the similar feeling of like when you're awake at like three in the morning and like all, all of a sudden you have the urge to get your life together and all that it was like a similar thing we were just like talking about how you know we we could we could t- do all this talk about changing our lives for the better but in reality after we get off of this call, we're all going to go to bed, wake up, and just go back to doing what we normally doing, or just completely forgetting that, you know, this is the sort of pep talk we had with each other. Or sometimes, you know, as we talk, you know, sometimes the pep talk we give ourselves when we're trying to go to sleep and tell them, man, tomorrow I need to accomplish this and do this. And it's like, you tell yourself this stuff, but then it's like how we were saying, you go to bed, you wake up, and you completely forget it all, or you don't forget it all, and you just go back to what's the norm, what's the usual in a sense whatever your habits are and uh you know we we had that talk and we kind of like kind of had to have a discussion with our group of basically saying like what is actually a way that you can break that habit you know and our friend Diego you know as someone who uh I I don't know what's the word for it I don't know if you would say I don't think I have the right word when I say uh, lives a healthier lifestyle. I would say he lives a more... um, Organized. Organized, yeah, that's a better word. Organized lifestyle than a lot of us. He was basically, you know, his advice was... You know, at first, I was... I would have said it's a... His advice was one of those easier said than done type of things. Because he was like, you just have to start whatever you're, you're doing, you know, and... All of us were kind of like, yeah, you can say that, but, like, it's always tough to still continue, you know? Like, uh, the example that, like, a lot of us thought of was, like, oh, you know, someone who's like, oh, yeah, I'm going to go to the gym. And then they, like, wake up in the morning and, like, they contemplate, you know, going or not. Or, like, uh, the one that our, our friend Wilbur gave was, like, you know, you're like, oh, I want to start going to bed early and waking up earlier to, like, feel like I have more time in my day. But then you set all those alarms and you wake up and you have to, like, fight through the urge to hit snooze on all of them, turn them all off, you know, and uh, just go back to bed. Like, that's the urge you have to fight. And, uh, you know, so we were basically like that was that was sort of our mindset with it all was like that that advice is kind of easier said than done, because like it's like as much as you want to just be like, all right, I'm gonna start doing this now. It's like. Sometimes your body does struggle, but, you know, that was sort of his advice of thinking. And I guess, or another advice of uh, that he also gave was like, hey, why not just do something like an hour a day? Whether, whether it's something like, you know, in my case, writing, Jill's case, editing, uh, anything you want to learn, you know, like coding, um, any other hobbies you might have just like anything like if you feel like you want to get more out of your life do this like do something for like an hour of day especially if it's like a skill you're trying to work on and from there i guess you could say that like like i want to say i don't know how like the rest of you feel but like for me it like 
took a day to really like process everything because his mind was like, oh, start, uh, start on Monday. I think it was, was Monday. Monday was the first, right? Yeah. yeah he sure. was like, start yeah. on Monday. Cause it's May 1st, start of a new month. You can look at it as a like new thing. And like, I don't know, like on May 1st, like I just didn't think much of it. I was like, oh yeah, here we are back to like doing the same thing. And, uh, it was the next day that I was kind of like sat here. I recorded an episode for, uh, the, the, my other thing. Uh, I was talking, I did, I think it was like a Phillies episode. Um, anyways, so I did that and I was like, man, like I was watching the thing like process and then I was uploading it to YouTube and I saw how long it's going to take. And I'm like, and I, and, uh, again, everyone, I will, everyone will get an opportunity to talk about it, but. Oh, sorry, sorry. Um, anyways, I sat there and I looked at the, the time and I was like, man, instead of just like sitting here and waiting for this to like upload and everything, why don't I just like do something more productive with the time? And I was like trying to think of what, and then like, uh, I don't know. It was sort of like that whole thinking thing, but like, I just kind of sat here, started thinking, I'm like, man, you know, because of like, uh my life situation right now is like I spend a lot of time in my room I don't stand up a lot I barely like walk a lot you know like sometimes I'll work out here and there with the weights I have but it like or like this little like a uh, pedal machine I have but I'm like that's not really enough and I was like how can I be more productive with this time and a lot of the time I have every day Especially when I feel so crammed with a lot of the stuff I, I like I want to do. Like sometimes I want to write. Sometimes I want to get through all the albums in my backlog that I've said I'll listen to. Sometimes I just want to sit down and actually watch shows because I don't watch <clears throat> a lot of shows or anime anymore or even movies. I'm like sometimes I want to sit and do that. But I I really struggle to talk myself into it. And I was like, man, what can I do with this time? But the main one that was sticking out to me was, you know, getting up and walking and all that. And I was like, and I thought back to something I saw on TikTok and I said, why don't I try that? And what I came to, to kill two birds with one stone was, how about I walk an album a day? You know, and that was, that was sort of the self-improvement goal I locked in on was, let me walk an album a day. And, uh, you know, so far I've been doing, I've been doing a thing where even if it's like a short album, I walk, uh, like if it's a short album, I sometimes walk it twice just to feel like I got a lot more walking in. So like other than maybe one day, which it was out of my control and I couldn't really walk too long. Uh, I've walked about like half an hour each day. Sometimes even more than that. But, you know, I was like, let me kill two birds with one stone. Let me, let me, uh, walk an album a day. And that way, you know, I can either like listen to albums I really like, or, you know, give an album a re-listen that I previously listened to, or let me listen to some of these new albums that I've had in my backlog. And so I was like, oh, you know, let me, let me do this. And so I ended up starting on May 2nd, which kind of annoyed me because I was like, man, if I started on the first, I could get even days, which is why on Saturday I ended up, uh, or on the Saturday of that week, I ended up walking because I was like, I want to, I want to get things even here. So today will be day 11, but so I've been walking for two weeks now. Uh, I've listened to 10 albums, all in various lengths, genre, uh, even time. And, you know, it's been a fun experience. I just go out there and walk. Uh, I used to do a lot of walking before. I want to say back in like, I want to say it was 2021 that I did a lot of the walking, especially because I was in school. So I was getting like stressed out a lot. And I was just like, and also because of the pandemic, I was like, I want to get outside some way, somehow. So like, I just kind of remembered back to those days as I started walking and I was like, I, it started me to realize how much I miss it, especially because, uh, I don't know, as someone who many times has a pessimistic mindset and also, like, 
kind of lets things get to him. Like, being out there sort of just calmed me down. And, like, as I looked at, like, uh, my surroundings, it kind of made me appreciate life more and, like, appreciate, like, the little things. Like, sometimes I'd go out there and be like, man, the weather is real nice today or, like, it's nice and cloudy. Look at how beautiful those clouds look and how, you know, essentially, like, artistic they look. I was like, man, this looks real great and all that. And uh, so far... Uh, if I look at the albums that I've listened to, out of the 10, I think we're, so far we're shooting about like anywhere between 80 and 90% from the field. There hasn't been that many misses when it comes to the albums. Um, but also as I continue through, it's like, I'm trying to get better with my album selection. Cause sometimes like I'll pick an album and I'm listening to it. And I'm like, man. It's not that this is bad, but this is definitely not an album to walk to, you know. Mm-hmm. But that's been my journey so far. Uh, if I want to give the floor to Gio and Dom to talk about it, but if there's enough time, you know, we can ask each other about the different things, like you know, what albums I've listened to, what things Gio has done when we listen to what he's been doing, you know. But uh, I'll turn the floor to either one of you. I just want to say something real quick. The thing that really helps about, or the, the, I guess the the different this time around when we had that pep talk, was uh, the whole waiting until May first to start, because at that point, like Diego said, like you, you, at May first you're gonna start editing for an hour. So after that, you have like six or seven days. I forgot how long it was to prepare for it. So it's like, oh, it's, it's not like out of out of the blue. It's like, oh, you saw it coming, so now start doing it. And then that and the fact that Jose uh, kept, um, I don't know, he was just on our ass the entire time about uh, doing our thing. That really helped too. Mm, yeah, I forgot to mention that. Our friend Jose has been going to the gym until like, you know, at first, it started with, you know, because uh, a couple other them would go to the gym. So, he'd be like, oh, where are you guys at? We're at the gym right now. Where are you guys at? And all that. But then, like, as soon as, like, we all turned to certain things, you know, he would be, uh, he would start getting on Geo. He got on Geo from day one. He would be like, where's the album at? Where's the, or, oh, sorry, not the album. Where's the, where's the edit at? Where's the edit at? But, uh, you, have until, you have until 12 to finish it. I was like, bro, you know how long it takes to make an edit? Oh, man. Yeah, that, that that really helps because it's kind of like a, a constant reminder to um, not be not fall back on uh, the usual um, what's the word excuses. Usual, yeah, the usual excuses. So that really helps, and it did. I was able to do it for I think I went on a streak of like six days working on one edit. Um, the first like two three days were really productive because I was like looking at different cl- uh, different. Um, clips and stuff, finding different sound effects for what I was doing. But then I realized that after it's, uh, like day four, five, and six, I didn't really find more to add to it. It was kind of like uh, I was kind of satisfied with what I did with for, at like day three, and I was satisfied yet dissatisfied with it because it made no sense. And it, that really bothered me. So then the the, the four, day four, five, and six, it was more like uh, I'm just going to open the program and just mess about for a little bit. It wasn't as productive as the first three days, but I was still, you know, in the program trying out different things. So, yeah, that worked. Uh, the problem that I'm facing right now, do I sound sick? I feel like I sound sick. Um the, the, the problem that I'm facing right now is the whole, uh, the next project. Mm. Because going from, like, one idea and then immediately having something else to work with is kind of difficult to do, um, I guess, for me. But I had an idea. I had a uh, I had an audio that I wanted to use. But I, I made the mistake of not writing it down. And it's going to take me a while to remember what it was. But, you know, my brain is still brewing. Nice, nice. Yeah, and Gio showed like uh, showed me a couple like the edits he's done, and I'm just like, man, a lot of it looks real good. Um, my favorite one, which uh, I'm at to I'm at to show my dad one day, is it was uh, the intro. He did like a little like introduction 
sort of edit for uh, Dreamcatcher, and like, honestly, like, I was inspired by it, honestly, like, I, I watched it, and I was like, man, because uh, I, I have, like, a, a little mini-series where I'm doing something, like, uh, where it's, like, an in- like introductory guides to, like, different things, so, like, maybe an introductory to, like, a wrestler that's not well known or like an artist that's not well known and all that and i'm just like man it would be cool to make a video like that every time for like every topic you know like make a little sort of like highlight reel at the very beginning to get people like hooked into it because when i saw that intro video i was like man even if i wasn't a fan of Dreamcatcher, or like didn't know about them i would be intrigued enough to like watch a video if i saw like that is the intro because like it was very well put together and like you could somewhat understand uh or not not somewhat understand but like it was one of those things where it's like it intrigues you even if you don't know like what is going on you know because a lot of it was a uh, different uh music videos of Dreamcatcher put together but if you don't know who Dreamcatcher is or even if they're like a band you just see like all this like ominous sort of footage and you're like well what's this group about you know what is this all about you know so I, I I really like that one. Mm. Maybe we should do like a project together, man, because that that would be a good practice for me. Yeah. Maybe. But let's let's hear from Dom because he's been awfully quiet today. Hey man. It was a. Uh, what? Oh. Uh, yeah. Uh, I'll, I'll be honest. I haven't been doing much, I guess, in terms of self improvement. I just been focused on on school uh, for these past couple of weeks. So, uh, he, he, well, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't really have much to say per se. But you know, that's that's life sometimes. Um, but uh, I mean, shoot. I mean, uh, technically, I mean, I, yeah. I mean, I'll be honest with you. I, I. I I've just been doing school stuff. I haven't been doing anything. I mean, I? you could technically view what's it called, uh, school stuff as self-improvement, you know? Uh, yeah, but I would see it more as a requirement mm, than an improvement true. because, it's, I mean, it's, you know, what it's quite literally is required to do. So it's, you know, just to get a degree and all that stuff. But I wouldn't really see it as self-improvement. I, I would just see it as just what's needed to do rather than what I could be doing to improve myself. Something that is not based on education per se. Mm, um, I get you. I get you. So how yeah. about, how about this posing this question? Once school wraps up and you finally get a break, you know, obviously you'll still be working at the time, but with the free time, what are some things you feel you want to do? You know, not necessarily on like, a daily basis because you know sometimes you'll need to take a break like i forgot to mention for me i take breaks on the weekends because i'm usually out with family and walking anyways you know right. but you know just like anything you obviously need a break so you don't uh you know um uh, exhaust yourself from things but uh what are what are some things you think you'd want to like work on improve upon even if it's just something as like like i said like making more time to do something as simple as like watching a show that you've been putting off, you know? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Well, I, I, I could answer that. Um, well, okay, so one thing that I've always been doing before, uh, um, which is sometimes the reason why I'm missing the podcast sometimes, here and there, or and or I'm late, uh, it's because I'm usually um, like doing my own thing, if that makes sense. In, in other words, in other words. Sometimes I'm out about in the city, you know, driving on my own. I, you, sometimes I just drive on my own, right? Like, like not too long ago, I, I drove all the way down to Santa Monica Pier on my own just to see the beach, right? I haven't told I haven't told anybody this, but I'm just telling you guys this now that sometimes I just like to go on drives, you know, and just explore, you know, on my own without, you know, having anyone else to, you know, you know, uh, you know, with with a curfew, if that makes sense. Um, I've been trying out new restaurants along with Gio. Um, for Mother's Day, we decided to, you know, not do the usual and go to like, you know, uh, a, a restaurant we always usually go to for Mother's Day. This time we decided to go to 71 Above, uh, at the U.S. Bank, um, to try something new. And just yesterday for, you know, Mother's Day, 
we also went to this very cool restaurant. Uh, it's called what was it called? Pop Yolk, I think something like that. It's like a it's a brunch restaurant, but the food there was absolutely delicious. So I guess in terms of that aspect, I would love to constantly try out new things, explore new areas I've never been to, whether alone or with your friends. Um, in terms of I guess self improvement for myself, I'm still trying to figure out uh, like. Like modeling and like you know uh, using Blender and stuff like that. There's this very cool YouTube video that I've used reference to make uh, the 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 two B figure I made, and it's and it's really detailed. Now I'm wondering if I could use that to like do some freelance work maybe for like VTubers because VTubers as at, as at the moment is pretty much the craze in terms of virtual uh, I guess personalities. Where people are hired to create like um, rigs per se of you know an anime character, per, you know person personality, and um, the, the, I'm seeing good prices you know being paid to these these sort of freelance artists, and I feel like I could do something like that with the skills I currently have, but maybe not another time because you know school at the moment. But um, yeah, aside from that, maybe I guess. I don't know, being more consistent and going to a lead gym. Um, because I'll be honest, I've been very inconsistent uh, at the moment. Um, I mean, there's no excuse to that. I mean, I guess school, but not really. Uh, nothing much else in mind in terms of self-improvement. I definitely want to get around watching more uh, shows and stuff like that. Like, like very good shows and... and um, yeah, the, that's pretty much it in terms of, I guess, self-improvement per se. But not, nothing much else um, in the works ATM. I forgot to mention that I've also been reading um, books. Well, I'm reading two books currently. Well, one book series and then a book. Um, the Harry Potter books, I started reading them. I, I might have mentioned it in the podcast already. But I've been reading Harry Potter with my girlfriend. And we watched the first movie, uh, I want to say yesterday. We finished the first movie yesterday. And I'm going to leave uh, my thoughts on that for the next episode or a future episode where we talk about um, book adaptions in two films. But uh, yeah, so it's Harry Potter and then I've been reading... Uh, Meditations by Marcus Aurelius. It's supposed to be uh, like top five uh, best self improvement books or self help books. So I've been, uh, you know, cracking at it for like the last few weeks. Uh, Some parts are very complicated to understand, but it it really gets you to think. Um, I'm kind of happy that uh, Willie took an interest to it because I feel like a good uh, philosophy book could get him. Uh, the cur- like on a better path, I guess, because he has like uh, I don't know. This is like rude to say, but he just, he has a very like negative mindset, and sometimes it pisses me off. So I feel like if, if he just you know reads more and like gets perspective on the world from you know from different people, it'll do him a lot of good. Yeah. So, hmm. There's like five other titles that I want to give a uh, to read. Uh, yeah, so my, one of my goals for this year is to read more books and eventually have it carry over to next year as well. Nice. Yeah, and I think that's the important mindset to have. I know a lot of people would kind of get worried thinking about it, but like these habits that we're starting to build should also carry over, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, I don't think it should be come up with a new sort of, like, habit each year. It's like, just come up with one and continue it, like, on and on, you know? I'm glad with the one I chose because it's like, with how much music there is out there, there's, like, there's never not a reason for me not to go out and walk, you know? Like, I can't just be like, oh, there's nothing to listen to when, you know, I have the entire history of music at the palm of my hand, you know? 
Like, I could search for literally any album I want from almost any decade and be able to listen to it, you know? I think uh, the, that's one of my goals, too, is to listen to more music. Um, I kind of I kind of fell off with the whole music thing after, like, you know, my interest in K-pop went down. But, you know, the Apple Music charges me, I think, $11 now. It went from nine ninety nine to ten ninety nine a month. Uh, I don't use it as much as I should. And music has always been like a good escape for me, so I want to get back to that too. But uh, I don't know; it's kind of difficult to find the perfect time to start listening to music. I definitely feel that, especially as someone who has to like, like personally myself. Sometimes I have to be in the right setting to listen to certain music. Like sometimes, if I'm gonna really hone in on an album. Like, I have to, like, sit there for, you know, an hour or two listening to it. And if I'm, like, writing about it, like, I have to listen to, like, one song over and over. Like, I can't tell you how long it took me to write uh, the album review for both uh, Paramore and and NF's albums that I did. Because it was just, like, you know, me sitting there and writing about the songs, like, you know, and having to listen to it over and over and really come up with what I wanted to write. And it showed because, you know, I think I ended up writing, like, 10 pages for Paramore's album. I ended up writing, like, 14 for the NF one, you know, and I don't know. I it's I I definitely understand that whole mindset because, like, you just, like, especially... I don't know, like, that. that's another benefit of this album a day thing is, like, I'm getting back to... You know, listening to music for, like, pure enjoyment, you know? Like, mm-hmm. not having to sit there and feel like I need to dissect everything. Or, like, you know, I have to, like, it had, like I'm trying to, I'm trying to be, like, I'm trying to listen to music for fun again. But I'm also trying to also be very specific with uh, what music I add to my playlist, you know? Because a lot of times, like, I add music because I'm like, oh, yeah, that was good. And then, like, I never listen to it again or, like, I'm always skipping it when it comes up. And it's, like, I'm trying to differentiate between a song that, you know, I just think is good and a song that, like, it's good enough to be in my playlist, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, that's another thing that we did the other night. Um, we just started exploring a bunch of music with our friends. It was um, interesting, but after a while, it just gave me a massive headache. Uh, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of. I'm. Try, I'm starting to understand. Like when Dominic says that, uh, uh, when he says that he can only listen to certain music depending on uh, as a mood, he can't just play whatever at any time. Because, because yeah, because like the whole like the. Um, the Metal stuff that he was showing us was really cool. But then after a while, it just started giving me a massive headache. And then when these guys started going into, like, the whole, um, I don't even know. Um, it was, like, the 90s music or something like that. It, it just, I, I don't know. I, just, I had to, like, mute the stream because I was like, I can't take it anymore. That's one of my biggest issues with music. I can't listen to it for too long. Oh, my gosh. Hmm. Well. Oh, I guess, let me ask this. Even though I said, you know, what I said earlier, but let me, let me ask this. If you start to see that you become successful with uh, staying, like, not necessarily motivated, but, like, staying true to your word... By, you know, creating one habit. Do you see yourself coming up with a second one? And if so, what do you think it would be? Mm, it would, uh, I think it would be something to do with exercise. Not necessarily the gym, because I hate going to the gym. 
There's so many, there's way too many people there. But something with exercise. I thought about doing the walking album thing too, but then I thought, yeah, I'm not, yeah I, I, it's not safe to be doing that here in Cal Central. <laughs> so, I don't know. Probably, I'll probably start doing like, you know, the, the what was it's like the 50 push-ups, 50 sit-ups, 50 something a day. Thing. I might give that a try at some point, but I want to do something with, uh, you know, to improve my physical well-being. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. What about you, Don? I think for a second habit, I don't know. I feel like I should, I guess, get into more management and organization and of, of like finances and you know accounting and all that stuff of, over my own personal stuff but as well as for my parents because uh, uh we're, we're planning to move out of the apartment and like, you know not now but like a good amount of years um only reason being because uh they're building a whole apartment next to ours so you know we you know we're gonna be completely blocked out by the sunlight uh, and we just, we just really don't really want that, you know? So, uh, we, I was thinking to maybe further push to save, cut costs, make, you know, cut off anything we don't really need, or we just, we, or if we could find alternative, uh, things for, to make, you know, I guess for lower pricing. Um, what did you say? Cut off what? Cut off, like, things, cut off pricing on, Purchases and all that stuff. You said something weird, bro. You said cut off costs. I was like, what? Cut off costs? Oh, cost. Yeah, okay. cost, pricing, stuff like that. Yeah. Um, but, but yeah, uh, th- things of that nature in terms of the, the finances and things like that. Because at the moment, uh, we're, 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 oh, well, especially me, I'm spending a little bit more than I should be, especially for the time being, considering. The, the the low amount of paychecks that we're going to be receiving now because, you know, the Kings lost, uh, Lakers are away for the time being. You know, our work literally depends on the Lakers' performance. So, you know, it is what it is. We can't do anything much about that. Uh, and I shouldn't be arguing because I, I pretty much signed up for what I was getting into. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. And aside from that, I should also be getting more into, I guess, getting into the habit of going outside more often on my own, considering I will be practically alone going in at Berkeley. So I guess socializing more, getting to know people better and all of that uh, sort, I guess, uh, that'll be very much important. Connections and networking is definitely something I might have to get back into Uh since uh, I think I, I might know some people over at Berkeley, I already know there's one classmate of ours over there. I know there's another friend. I know there's a couple of uh, business people over there. So networking and I guess money and finances should be something to take care of for the time being. Uh, aside from that, um, I, I guess just going back to I guess personal health. I guess go back on a diet and. Uh, get back on just to a consistent basis in terms of exercise and other likes. Uh, and I, and a uh, third thing, a third thing to, I guess just overall finish what I've started in terms of like any sort of entertainment things. Like for example, I have a couple games I've started, but just never finished whether it be difficulty or just lack of interest, and you know, it's, what's up? Sorry. I don't mean to cut you off, but we got 50 seconds. Oh, okay. uh, no, yeah, that's me what I want to say. Just finish off everything, like old video games. There's just so many games I wanted to finish, but I just, I mean, it's kind of hard emulating them on PC. But, you know, it is what it is. Uh, but, yeah, that, that's that's it for me, dog. And with that, I've been Jack, joined by... Dominic. And the very sick Giovanni. Thank you all for joining for this episode. And I'll leave you with the best advice I ever received from a former teacher of mine. Or not really advice, but just... You know, a saying that really made me think more positive about change, and that is any improvement is improvement, and you shouldn't feel bad if you only improve just a little, because at the end of the day, you improved one way or another.